if you have not seen my criticism video already, I'm just going to tell you to watch it right now, just in case you got something foul to say, you know what I'm saying? If you got something foul to say, then you watch that video, man, because that's just, that's, that's going to be my one warning, I don't care. So if you read a message or a comment and me cursing you the fuck out, then you obviously did something to me. Um, but anyway, this is not what this video is necessarily about. This is about fake ass YouTube bitches who play video games. I can understand, you know, gamers, they have pride when they play video games. You know, me, myself, I have my own pride when it comes to video games. I know I'm not the best in the world when it comes to, you know, doing this whole video game thing, but I try. I know at certain video games, I know I'm really good at, you know. I never, I never say that, oh, I'm the fucking best or I'm too pro, you know what I'm saying? You know, like elite gamers have, you know, like, uh, I don't know, I am redeemed. I don't know, I guess I, I consider him possibly my rival when it comes to gaming. But I know, I know definitely at Super Smash Bros. Brawl, he'll kick my ass, man. There, there's just no way I'll win. Well, at least not now, anyway. Haha. -ha. I don't concede defeat yet, man. I mean, it's just like what Goku said to Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z. I mean, even a low class can surpass an elite if he trains hard enough. I mean, if you're not good at something, that's why you get better at it, you know, to improve your skills. And me as a gamer, you know, with all the games I have, I know I'm not the, I'm not, I know I'm not the best at them, you know. I'll play them repeatedly until I get good at it, you know, like, for example, uh, what game wasn't I good at, but I, but I kicked ass in eventually. I think... Probably Mario Kart Double Dash. When I first got that shit and I played it on 150cc, I would always lose the cups and shit and I would get low place finishes, you know, no award finishes whatsoever. You know, same thing with Mortal Kombat. I'm gonna share a little secret with you guys. When I was little, I used to actually be scared of that game. I mean, with Shao Kahn laughing and shit. <laughs> I can't do it, but you guys get the point. Um, I, uh,. I was really scared of that game, and I think about like a year later, I eventually started playing, you know, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on my Super Nintendo, and then ever since, I um, I got hooked on that game, I started playing, you know, the series more and more and more, and eventually it became my favorite fighting game, because, you know, it became something I was good at, I mean, I know I might not win every battle, but, you know what I'm saying, that's how you get better, you keep trying at something until you get good at it, until you get proficient. You know what I'm saying? If your skills get rusty, then hey, I mean, it might take a couple tries for you to get back in it. But if you're going to question somebody's skills, if you're going to say that they suck compared to you, and then, you know, you're, gonna, you're just going to flat out diss them on the video, I mean, I can understand if they say, if they, even if they admit that they're not that good, you know, that they're, they're not the best at that game, they still upload videos because they at least want to show what their skills are like. They, I mean, they at least want to be, you know, respected, you know, for having the courage to, you know, even upload videos like that. And it's really a shame when all you, all you haters out there be fucking talking a bunch of shit. That is really unnecessary, man. It's just, it's just fucking long, period. I don't care who you are. I mean, unless you know that you actually have skills, then why don't you fucking show them? Why don't you get, like, a Dazzle or a DVD recorder, you know, and learn how to record video games on them? Man, you want to talk all this shit? And, man, you'd be surprised at how many fucking people do this shit to other people. I mean, I must have caught, like... Five or six different people dissing me because they always said I sucked at video games and then I would fire back on their ass so quick because I will always look at their channel and what do I see? Nothing but favorites. Taking other people's shit and like putting it on their channel like they did that shit. And that's the only way that, that people would subscribe or add them like, yeah, yeah, that's my shit, man. No, 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 that ain't nobody else's shit. That's my shit. Yeah, you take credit for somebody else's work that you'd even put up yourself. Man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. Don't don't fucking come around people, you know, saying that they fucking suck at video games. Because, I mean, what happens if you actually encounter that person one day? And you played that same video game that you said that they sucked at. And then they kick your ass. What happens to you? Your fucking pride gets shattered. You start crying like a little bitch that you know that you are for hating in the first place. Ooh. 
I think I just silenced the masses out there for those who are listening to the truth. Yeah. See, that's what people need to start thinking about. You know what I'm saying? That they just want to hate and shit. They just hate, 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 hate. And then while the other person, you know what I'm saying? They they over there getting they, they getting their skills correct. You know what I'm saying? They getting better and better and better to where it gets to the point that, you know, the next time they have shit, you know what I'm saying? And they play a match with them. Get the fuck out of my face, you sorry ass wannabe motherfucker. I mean... This shit makes me laugh so much. I mean, hating on people who play video games on YouTube, that's not, that's not cool, man. Unless you know that you are equal in skill, you know what I'm saying? If you're playing Halo, Halo, that's like a primary example. When Halo blew up on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, with online multiplayer matches, with Team Slayer and shit, man, you, what do you hear on the microphone when they get killed? Fuck, man! Fuck, that was bullshit! That motherfucker wasn't on my radar! After they get pistol whipped in the back of the head from behind, you know what I'm saying? They never saw it coming. You know what I'm saying? A pro player, you know, getting his ass whooped by, like, you know, maybe a novice, you know, maybe a middle-of-the-road type of player, you know what I'm saying? Me, I play video games, you know, for the casual sake of it, you know what I'm saying, to chill, you know what I'm saying, get my mind off of school and everything, but you never see me, you know, saying that I'm the fucking best, if I know I'm good, then I know I'm good, I'm not gonna let no fucking hater just, you know, try to rob me of my credibility because of all the hard work that I, you know, I've done, you know, for YouTube, you know what I'm saying, posting over 1,300 videos, you know what I'm saying, I'm about to hit, like, I don't know, Fit, like 1500 in a little while, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I got much love and respect for people, you know, who like show their skills, you know what I'm saying? Because that makes me respect them, you know? I mean, at least they may not be the best in the world, but then people who don't brag, they always cool with me because, you know, they don't, they don't need nobody to tell them something that obviously isn't true. They don't let motherfuckers get to them all the time like that. And for all of those gamers who are true, you know what I'm saying, who don't be flying and shit, they know they good and they straight. They always cool with me. But as far as this whole bragging shit, you know, I'm, you know, I'm the best in the world. I'll kick your ass any day. You're a fucking noob. And then what happens if that same person that you was talking shit about beats you? I mean, what if they beat you constantly? Then you start, then you start getting all tricked out and shit, and you start hating on them even more, and they still kick your ass until you finally realize that they become your equal, and that's how you establish a rivalry. You know what I'm saying? I mean, primary example, Goku versus Vegeta. Anybody who watches anime should know the whole story behind that. Vegeta was hating, but at the end of the series, they were both Super Saiyan force on equal terms. So maybe that's some that should give y'all here something to think about. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all don't like it, you can suck my dick. Peace.